Hey, Banjo. Yeah, I got that sticker you're looking for. Okay, I'll send it express. Jeez, man. Okay, calm down. I, I know you have the shakes. Wait, where'd you come from? You're not allowed to see this. This is the Rode NT1. And this microphone was purchased with the money that I made with memberships. Now, for the most part, I will be comparing it to the Rode NT2A, as well as a few other mics later on. But much like myself, way back, I was trapped in this very purchase decision. Should I buy the NT1 or should I buy the NT2A? By the way, speaking of buying, the NT1 here is $265 and the NT2A is $330. Now, I should say sorry about all the shadows, but there's a whole bunch of mic in front of me. Now, this is not the original iteration of the NT1. That original was released in the 90s, and if you want to see the comparison between the two microphones, I know Podcastage did one. I don't think I'm going to be able to nail down one of the originals. But considering they share the name, they are very different microphones. In fact, the original microphone was what the NT1A was based off of, and then this microphone was the upgrade to the NT1A. So in essence, this is kind of like the cousin to the original NT1. Bit of a weird family lineage. Now, this thing is a beast. It's not overly heavy, but still has some chunk, though not as much as the NT2A. Built like a tank, all metal body, and the grill is just as tough as the body. By the way, the weight difference between the NT1 and the NT2A is literally just the shell of the microphone with the NT2A built more like it can survive a blast. This NT1 doesn't have any switches, it's just all microphone. Not much else to say, this thing is as tough as it is unique. Now for the specs, this is a cardioid condenser microphone, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, max SPL of 132 dB, sensitivity of negative 29 dBV per Pascal, a dynamic range of 128 dB, signal to noise ratio of 90 dBA weighted, and an EIN of 4.5 dBA weighted, which, if you don't know, is ridiculously low. It's one of the bragging points for Rode with their microphones. They are very quiet. Now let's do the off-axis rejection of the Rode NT1. Here I'm speaking directly into the capsule from about five inches away. Now I'm speaking into the side of the capsule from approximately five inches away. Now I'm speaking into the rear of the capsule from about five inches away. Now time for the plosive test of the Rode NT1. Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers. By the way, this capsule is wide open, so I'm not very surprised by this result. Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers. Now for the proximity effect test of the Rode NT1. This is me speaking about five inches off the front of the microphone. Now I'm about one inch off the front of the microphone. Five inches, one inch. This is the Rode NT1. In my opinion, it looks like another microphone. It's black. It looks exactly the same as all the other microphones, but apparently it's different. This microphone, it's pretty sweet because it's a microphone. It does say Rode, so if you like branded things, might be for you. If you don't like branded things, maybe you don't get it. That's this microphone. Now we have the Rode NT1 versus the AKG P420. And these things are relatively similarly priced. Which one do you like? This is the NT1 and this is the P420. Now they both come similarly equipped. There's no pop filter with the P420. I will have to say between these two microphones, this one is a bit more compact. And if you're going on the road, this one does come with its own carrying case, which is a big help. The NT1 is a bit chonkier and it's not quite as mobile. You just get a little carrying bag with it. So which one do you like? The NT1 or the P420? And now we have the Lewitt LCT440 up against the Rode NT1. This one is flat. This one's crispy. It articulates very, very well. A lot of people really like the Lewitt LCT440. What do you think of it up against the Rode NT1? Which one do you think would be the better voiceover mic for your voice? Now, they both come similarly equipped. Once again, both with shock mounts. This one does have a pop filter on it, the Lewitt. It's very, very pretty. I actually really like the compact design of the Lewitt, more so than the chonker, the chungus, the Rode NT1. It's, it's pretty big, hard to travel with. This is a lot more compact and it probably would go in a suitcase a lot easier. So which one do you like? Let me know down below.
So when you actually put these two head to head, I think back to when I bought the NT2A and I bought it for voiceover. And while I had used the NT1 before, I was taken in by the NT2A and the way it cradled my voice. I was also looking at the added versatility with the polar patterns and the pad. But I'm starting to wonder as I listen to these two back to back if I made the right decision, which is odd. Now, I like the NT1. I find it to be a bit smoother and not quite having the airiness that the NT2A has. If I were to make that decision again today, I kind of think I would go with the NT1, especially if you're just going for VO. Now, if you're using the microphone for anything else and you might need those added features that the 2A has, well, that also makes your choice for you. But damn, the NT1 is a compelling option, even on instrumentation. And with the pricing differential between the two, yeah, good luck with that decision. I'm not really sure what I thought was going to come of this. The NT1 is no slouch. It's actually a very affordable option for entry into VO work. Now, of course, the NT1 already comes with an impressive resume. It's no secret. This is a fantastic microphone. But this is one of those decisions that I can't make for you. Which one do you like better? Is it the NT1 or the NT2A? Are you doing just voiceover and maybe some straightforward instrumentation? Or do you want the added benefits of all those little buttons and switches on the NT2A? That's going to be one of your main deciders. Also, the difference in sound. Or perhaps one of the other microphones stood out for you. Let me know down below. Cheers, and I will see you in the next video.